right, guys. Today we're working on a Prairie 650s. Belongs to a buddy of mine. Um, so carbs are definitely leaking. I just noticed the pull cords out too. So we went ahead and took this off. We had a couple of bolts here, and then there was Phillips screwdrivers there, uh, and your battery cover. You can pop that off, take the battery out. So we're to here. We're going to get this uh, air box out. Um, you can flip that thing sideways and it'll come off your shifter just fine. So we need to get to the carbs. And that's probably bolted on there. Probably going to be easier to get to it from the other side. Let's go take a look. Okay. No real easy way to get to it. Um, we just got to take, keep taking stuff off from the top. So we got some 10 millimeter bolts probably on that side, that side. This piece here is going to have to come off. So we'll have Phillips here and whatever else. Let's All right, we got the little air breather off. Um, we're going to have some vents that come up, which that clip's already gone. Uh, I feel like I still got, there's got to be another bullet somewhere. It's connecting this. It still feels pretty tight. Let me see if I can find another bolt. I've got this um, hose here loose. But, of course, it's going to be connected on the carburetor. I'm probably going to have to check on inside the air box. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me get all that blow. All right, so we need to release the box from the carburetors themselves. A bunch of 8 millimeters. Looks like four of them. Uh, you can stuff paper towels in your cars right now, keeping bolts from going down there. It would be a smart idea. Okay, we got all those loose. We're going to leave them in the hole. Hopefully nothing bad happens. And I think as soon as we get it popped off here, I've got probably one more hose that hooks on underneath here. Let me get it. Okay. So that hose right there hooked on the bottom. And of course that one also hooked on the air box. I need to go get some paper towels. Actually, I'm turning that apart anyway. It don't matter. But it'd be good to keep anything else from getting in there. Now we're going to have to get off the throttle cable, the fuel line, and there's probably a choke cable on there as well. And uh, vent lines, anything else. Drain line, all that. So we've got a couple of lines there. We've got, that's our fuel line. That's our choke right down in there. Our throttle is there. And uh, yeah, so let's go. All right. So I got the air lines off. We had two drain lines and then two vacuum lines. Your vacuum lines, one was right here and then the other one had this little canister on it. And then these are your two drain lines and they go to the bottom of both carburetors. And then uh, to get our choke out, you've got two brackets here and then you can slide your chokes out. So two Phillips head screws, pop that off. This uh, just slides down into a bracket right there so that'll pop right off when you need to get that out so we're about to get the carburetors uh, separated from this ATV and then we can uh, open them up and we're gonna do diaphragms and everything on this thing. All right guys so when I tear this apart I'm gonna call this the left side not the right side uh, just for rebuilding purposes. We've got a nice clean towel I'm gonna start setting all my good stuff on I took this brush and went all around where I'm going to separate my bowl and my caps. Um, I'm not going to try and clean that whole thing up. Pressure washer probably would have been best, uh, but I don't have one. So anything that was coming apart, I went ahead and got all the dirt as good as possible off of there. And so that way, around my caps, it's all clean. And when they come off, no dirt should go inside. So we'll do double check that. If I had a blow gun, that might not be too bad of an idea. Too. So this is kind of crazy. These bowls look like they've been dry for a long time. I actually started this thing last week and it was running, but it was pouring gas out of somewhere. I was guessing it was the bottom of the bowl, but it had to have been the vent or something, but it was, it was actually running crazy. Okay, so one thing I want to check is how far in these are or out. There's a half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, two and a, two and a half, so two and three quarters. Let's try this one. Half, one, half, 
two. So that one's right at about two. Did I do the other one right? I have to double check on the video. All right, I'm gonna get the these out and we'll get the floats out and we're gonna pull these out. All right, so let's get these infuser tubes out. Eight millimeter and pop them out right there. So I'm just gonna use a Q-tip on the end of a drill and clean out my seats. Probably gonna have to clean all this brass out. Probably use, probably use some brass though too. So that's the one I've done already. And that's the one I haven't done. And we'll go back there and clean out a little better, better and blow back through it. But you can see that Q-tip. It's not going to harm your brass and it cleans it out really good. So we'll hit the other one now. Looks pretty clean.